What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I wanted to kind of talk about this after checking out what happened on the last segment of AEW Dynamite involving uh, Adam Page and Swerve Strickland. Now, if you don't know what happened, apparently Swerve had bought his childhood home. He finally was able to buy the, uh, the place that he grew up with. You know grew up in bought his childhood home and there was supposed to be a contract signing at the end of the show between swerve and adam page for their steel cage match at um all out this saturday well swerve was there but adam page wasn't you want to know where adam page was adam page was at the supposed house now put quotations there but he was at the supposed house of where Swerve Strickland grew up at. And he was given his promo. He And I, I actually like how he did this. There was no camera crew. He just had a selfie stick, essentially. So he's walking around the house, and he's pouring gasoline all over the house. And what made this really, really good, in my opinion, and what I'm, I'm loving about this, is the fact that Adam Page essentially has reason to be crashing out like this this all kind of spurred from or started from swerve essentially going to adam page's house <laughs> breaking into his crib and standing over his um his baby in 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 uh in his room in the baby's room he was standing over the baby's crib legitimately at his house so it all started from that that crash out from swerve and now swerve is paying the repercussions of that said crash out everybody's crashing out and there's consequences for your crash out and i i love it i i, I love it and as he's setting you know putting fuel all over the crib swerve is irate he's losing it and then he sits down right in front of the crib there's like this chair he has a little like a little coffee cup, you know, sets the camera on this tripod, lights it, lights up like some type of match, drops it. You see the flames travel up to the house, and the house is essentially on fire while he's sipping on his little coffee mug, man. It was a beautiful visual. Love the visual of this. And we're just in this era right now in AEW and WWE where people are crashing out to the maximum degree and i love it i got we got to call this the crash out era of wrestling and i love it now granted it's always been a thing here and there we've seen it in the attitude era but i love seeing this it's just a new terminology to use but this crash out era in wrestling is fantastic i love what they've been doing with the the swerve and um adam page feud because once again it makes sense for Adam Page to have this a hatred to crash out the way he did because of what Swerve was doing. Initially, Swerve was the heel, but the fans loved him, which is fucking crazy. They, they loved the fact that he was a heel and a bad guy and was doing all these dangerous and messed up things to Adam Page. They loved that. They loved that. But now things have switched, and now... You know, Adam Page has been on this crusade of ultimate hate. Then any time he gets a chance, he wants to destroy Swerve. He's part of the reason why Swerve doesn't have the AEW championship anymore. It makes sense, and I love it. And the same thing on the opposite side. In WWE, this Drew and CM Punk feud is fantastic. The hatred they have for each other. The multiple crash outs. How many times has CM Punk cost Drew McIntyre the World Heavyweight Championship? How many times has Drew essentially put CM Punk on a stretcher and has made him bleed multiple times? The man tried to gouge out his eyes on Monday Night Raw. The man broke his bracelet. And once again, it goes to sentimental things. Paige burnt down Swerve's house because it had sentimental value because he cared about it. Drew broke uh, CM Punk's bracelet because it had sentimental value because he cared about it. It wasn't 
It's no longer about the titles. This is why I love about these crash out angles, the crash out storylines. They're not about titles. It's just two people hating each other to the maximum level. I fucking love it, bro. This is great. This is truly fantastic. Crash out uh, season is in both companies. And I love it, man. This is this is what it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. And it's, it's good to be able to say you got two heated feuds going on right now in uh, AEW and WWE respectively. Like one with Drew and um, CM Punk, which has been going on for since fucking the Royal Rumble. And then the same thing with Adam Page and and Swerve. This has been going on since earlier this year. These feuds have really been, in my opinion, some of the best parts of these shows because you can feel the guys are really honing in on this hatred. And I love it. I love it, man. This is really, really great. There's some other crash out stories going on. You got the whole MJF and uh, Daniel Garcia, you know, that I've been enjoying that. I know some people, you know, <laughs> are not the biggest fan of Danny or Daniel Garcia, but I think he's, you know, he's he's finding his his way in this feud, and I hopefully it does benefit him going forward. I love what they got going on there, and then also on the WWE side of things, we got to obviously talk about the Damian Priest versus Finn Balor, their hatred. It's really growing. Also, Rhea Ripley versus Liv. Their hatred is really going, growing. Like, there's so many things to kind of get behind. Uh, and I love it. I love it. The crash out era of wrestling is here. And I love to see it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how things play out. Uh, most likely, we'll check out All Out uh, this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm going to try to be at the crib to be able to stream it. But I am loving what they're doing there. And I just wanted to make this video because when I saw it, I was like, man, it was such a good watch. That was a cool visual. One of the coolest shots you'll see in wrestling is a guy sitting in front of a chair drinking out of a coffee mug as he burns his ops childhood ground, childhood house to ground. Fucking just beautiful, bro. We crashing out. So I can only expect that this match is going to be even more intense. And I believe they made it a unsanctioned uh lights out match or something like that essentially um with them turning it into an unsanctioned lights out match whatever you want to call it um this doesn't go against anybody's record nobody's record get hurt by this which i do think they probably will give the win to adam page because uh i mean he he kind of needs to win in this feud so um I'm, I'm guessing that's what they'll do here i don't know but so this match is unsanctioned anything goes and honestly if I'm CM Punk, I take some I take some liberties uh, uh, or take some notes from Adam Page. I said this. This needs to get even more personal. We need a segment of this man either A, trying to run him over with a vehicle, B, pulling up to this man's crib unannounced, or C, um, getting a gun. <laughs> At this point, my boy CM Punk needs to take notes, but we know CM Punk is not going to take no fucking notes from Adam Page of all people. <laughs> so it's it, that's why I said that it is kind of funny. Adam Page doing this, just make a crash out stuff, and I'm over here trying to get CM Punk to take notes. He will never take notes from Adam Page. <laughs> but either way, man, CM Punk got to do something to that extent. We need to we need to ramp it up. We need to get to that point where. Um, there's a lot of Adams in this particular situation. Adam Pierce says, you know what? Enough is enough. Hell in a cell. We're in his damn feud. Something. So CM Punk, it's your it's your move. If it involves vehicular uh uh assault, go ahead. If it involves a uh automatic weapon assault, go ahead. If it involves arson, go ahead. Hey, we here now. It's up and it's stuck. So Comment down below, let me know, are y'all enjoying this crash out era of wrestling like I am? Because it's definitely entertaining and I love what they're doing. But I appreciate all the love support y'all showing on the channel. Road to 150K, appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.